see what is in here. Ooh. Oh my god, I cannot believe it. It's like crazy to me right now. <laughs> Da -da -da. The truth about reselling. Why is that so dramatic? <laughs> what is up, beautiful people? TJ here with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the truth of reselling. Um, I've been reselling for quite a while. I've been reselling for almost probably 10 or so years. Um, if you've been a, a follower of this channel, you've seen me go from uh, doing private label, Amazon, you know, actually manufacturing my own products, um, now to buying liquidation pallets reselling those so i have a long like reselling career so i've seen a lot of things a lot of fads a lot of stuff that has come through the reselling community um but you know is it all worth it is it just hype is it just something for entertainment purposes or is it something that you know you can actually do so we're going to talk a little bit about my thoughts on reselling and if it's worth it or not my name is cj love lady i am a reseller entrepreneur uh, i make videos about reselling liquidation pallets side hustles Sometimes tech, because I like tech. If you like those types of videos, make sure you hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can get notifications whenever I release new videos. All right, so I know there is a large perception in the reselling community, especially like the YouTube reselling community uh, about reselling and there's a lot of hype around it. There's a lot of people that shows the great side of reselling. And sometimes, you know, just to be honest, me and my sister, we're also um, kind of guilty of doing that. We do, you know, focus kind of on the positive side because we don't, I don't like talking about negative things, but we have shown some negative things, some things that can happen within your business. Um, it's not necessarily linear. You know, there, there's things, there's hills and valleys with, with reselling, just like within the business, you're gonna have um, some hills and some valleys with, within those, uh, within your business so but like i said i know there's a lot of resellers on youtube that just show like oh my god i bought this for two dollars i'm going to sell it for two thousand and it's not always like that it's not always great there's so many things you have to think about when starting this business um i know a lot of people just do this for talking about reselling a lot of people do reselling for you know a hobby and they're not necessarily in it to you know make it a full-time business um you know for me i i have a full-time job i have a career so i'm not necessarily looking to scale my business in that way i think that i could if i wanted to um but you know i'm just not at the place right now where i want to you know scale my business to that you know ultra ultra level because it does take a lot of time and a lot of effort um you do need sometimes it depends on where you're at with your business um you need, may need multiple people to accomplish that you may need employees um there's a lot of stuff that goes into it so you know don't believe all the hype that you hear on youtube about reselling um, because there is a lot of, of stuff that can be perceived as being negative and honestly it's just part of the business all right so the first thing i want to talk about is not always easy you know we me and my sister we've had like a, a crazy path a roller coaster ride um with reselling um there was times where we were like super profitable we was making like tons of money we was bringing in a lot of items um, and then we got to a point to where we wasn't selling anything, like we wasn't making any sales. Um, we wasn't progressing our business in the way that we wanted to. Um, and then we've been, you know, we're kind of getting back, staring back on the right path uh, of profitability versus effort that it takes to, to get the items listed and get the items sold. But to get there, it's not that easy. There are things that you have to do to keep your, um, you know, if you're selling on eBay to keep your eBay store fresh, um, you have to go through and look at trends of what is actually selling right now. Um, you know, listing items is not like a one and done thing. Um, you know, you can list a ton of items and you can sell, let's just say you sold 50% of those items um, that you listed in a listing session. The other 50%, you know, may be priced incorrectly. Um, maybe the demand is not there right now for those items. Um, so you sometimes have to go back and revisit items and it does take time. That does take research. Um, it takes time out of your day to go and look at those items and see where they need to be priced because sometimes you need to appropriately price things. Um, you know, it's just a lot of things that go into a, the day-to-day -day operation of being a reseller. You know, you have to list items. You have to be present in your business. You have to ship items on time. You have to deal with customers service so there's just a lot of stuff that 
that a lot of people don't really talk about, um, you know, here on YouTube because, you know, it's not, it's not the fun, exciting, entertaining type of thing. But, you know, I think it, it has to be a balance. It also requires a lot of time to do like testing and listing. Um, listing is one of the things that I loathe. I mean, I really just, just don't particularly like listing. Now, I know there's a lot of you that like listing. You know, that's that's something that you like to do. Um, and once I actually get into the process of listing, it's not that bad because I listen to my music. Um, you know, sometimes I do it down here in the studio. Sometimes I go over to my store um, and do it. But um, when I'm listing, I, I try to get into a zone of listing because if I look at it as work, I avoid it. That's just me. I'm a procrastinator. I like to procrastinate things and I will uh, avoid it, but it does take time um, to do this. So one thing I would say is a tip is um, if you are going to list and test items um, for resale, just make sure that you set aside time to do that. You know, dedicated time when you're not doing anything else um, to get those items listed. And, and the reason I say that is because what I found is when I'm distracted, when I'm trying to do multiple things at the same time, um, I make errors in the listing so you know i may maybe i'm doing um editing a video but i'm also listing some items you know i may go and list an item and i may put the wrong thing in the description or i may pull the wrong uh listing and sell similar you know so i have made those small mistakes while i wasn't dedicated and focused on uh reselling or doing my listings and then you know i make mistakes and then that turns into a customer complaint or a return or a negative feedback on ebay so those are things that you need to look at you know make sure you set aside that dedicated time to test items make sure they work like they're supposed to uh, make sure you're giving your listings on ebay or macari or wherever you're selling it um, you know give those listings the love time and attention that they need um, to get the item sold you know to give the the customer the best representation of that physical item that you have speaking of customers it does require a lot of customer service um you know you have to answer emails um sometimes depending on what kind of store you have you have to answer uh messages on ebay macari um you may have to take additional photos they may ask you to test a certain portion of or functionality of an item that you have um so it does take a lot of time for customer service you have to um you know really take the person personal personality personal things out of it um there's gonna be times where you're gonna get upset with customers and you can't take anything they say personally it's all business um you know if they want to lowball you that's fine you have the option to block them you have the option to not answer you have the option to answer um you know so it's all about how you want to run your business but you can't let somebody's um offer or anything um you know make you upset just just take it listen to it and, and go about your day now i have been upset sometimes with customers i'm not gonna lie i have y'all seen it online y'all seen me be upset <laughs> um at customers but you know you just really have to just take it all in um and stride and and look at it as okay this is my business this is a customer interacting not with tj but interacting with my business um so you really have to take that personal thing out of it um and it's really look at it as as a business so there is a lot of customer interaction that you're going to have. And if you're not good with customers, maybe this is not the business for you um, because there are going to be a lot of customers and there's going to be some rude ones and there's going to be some ones that's going to ask you some very like crazy things and they're going to say a lot of crazy things. And, you know, sometimes you have to just center yourself and, and bring yourself back to the place of of reselling paradise. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> you just can't get mad about these things because it's a business and, and to be like that sometime. All right, so one thing I did want to talk a little bit about is understanding your profits. I think this is where um, some people kind of fail and I've failed in the past sometimes because you look at an item and you see like a great price or what you think is a great price, but you don't think about all the fees, the shipping, all those different things that go into selling that particular item. So you really need to understand what your profits are everybody's profit margins are going to be a lot different because you're not going to pay as much or you're going to pay more than what somebody else um, got for an item um, you know also you may sell for cheaper you may be in a different location you may be sh in tennessee and shipping your stuff to california um, you know there's a lot of different aspects that goes into the profitability of an item so you really need to understand how to look at the profits now um, i can make a video about how i look at profits uh, how i break those profits down if you want me to make that video just put it down in the comment section below i'll make that video but definitely understand what your profits are 
how you um, calculate those profits um, and then you can really truly see if an item that you're going to pick up is going to be profitable or not. All right, business taxes. So me and April just got done doing our taxes. Um, it, it doesn't really take as much time if you make if you're taking the the steps, the necessary steps throughout the year um, to do your taxes. But um, definitely taxes are a big topic within the, the reselling community because it is a business. So you have to um, report all of your income, all of your losses, um, all of your receipts, all that stuff. You need to make sure you keep all that stuff in some kind of place. Uh, somebody did leave me a comment on my last video asking what kind of um, um, tracking we use for like tax purposes and stuff. Um, so me and April, we actually use Intuit. Um, we have the, it kind of tracks all of our transactions and stuff through our bank account. We do everything through our business bank account. We have a business bank account with Bank of America. Um, so all of our transactions go through there and it does a pretty decent job with categorizing those um, transactions. But sometimes we have to go in there and kind of tell it what where the transactions need to go. Um, but it does learn pretty good. You know, this transaction was this thing at this time, it probably is the next time you do it. So um, it does a really good job of putting those transactions into different buckets. Um, so when we do our taxes, we kind of have that available. Um, I will leave a link to the, the tax software or the it's kind of the, the software that we use just to kind of track all the transactions we do within our business. So I will leave that in the description section below. Also, I want to talk a little bit about sales tax. So that's a whole totally different thing, like your uh, state sales tax. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into it, but just know that there are certain thresholds for if you're selling locally, um, you know, use remitting, uh, are you collecting and remitting sales tax? And there is a cost for that, or there is a process for that. Um, in the state of Tennessee, it's a little bit different than some other states. Um, but you really need to understand your state's laws with sales tax and sales use tax and all those different taxes. There's a lot of taxes <laughs> that, that you need to look at. So, um, really understand the taxes. Don't get caught up by uncle Sam because he will, he will lay down the hammer on you. All right. Shipping. Shipping is one thing that me and April struggled with at the beginning. Um, we didn't understand the shipping costs. We didn't understand how much items actually cost to ship. We're pretty good with it now estimating how much, um, items cost to ship, but we have, um, shipped items all over the world. Um, so we, we kind of got a, a pretty decent idea of how much it's going to cost to ship an item. So when I'm going and I'm sourcing items, unless we're doing liquidation pallets, which obviously you can't really tell most of the time what you're going to get on liquidation pallet. But you know, um, if you have larger items, you need to understand how it's going to impact your profit, um, based on where you're going to ship it to, um, that may kind of skew where you're going to sell the items. Um, you know, larger items, we try to sell locally, Facebook marketplace or on our Shopify store. Um, and then smaller items, we list on our eBay store, Macari, um, and shipping those type of ways. But you just need to understand the shipping cost of items and really factor that into the profitability. So that goes into the profitability piece. Um, you know, where you're looking at the items and it may be profitable. Maybe you think it, it, it may be kind of profitable. And then you look at the shipping, you're like, oh, never mind. No, it's not, you know? <laughs> so you really need to understand shipping, understand how to ship items, um, understand the most economical way of shipping those items. Um, and then incorporate that into your pricing model whenever you're pricing your items. Um, so you can make sure you make, get the most bang for your buck. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna talk about fees. Fees is a, a hot topic in the reselling community because um, each one of these reselling platforms have their own uh, associated fees. So just understand what those fees are, understand uh, understand how they're gonna affect your profits, understand how um, you know it's gonna take away from your profitability. Um, just include that in your, profit, your profitability and your pricing of your items. Um, I go through and I have like a table of what the fees are going to be and I understand how much it's going to cost for me to actually sell that item. Um, you know, your actual cost of goods sold. Um, so you can really dig down deep and get the profitability of it, or you can actually get your actual profits of those items. I'm not going to put the fees of each individual reselling uh, platform on here, but you can do a Google search, find the fees. Um, if you are selling on a platform, they normally have fee tables to tell you how much the fees are for certain items. So just make sure you understand your fees and make sure you understand how much you're going to actually pay 
um, to, to sell that item. You know, you really need to understand that because it goes back into your profitability. I think the profitability piece is really key to making sure you understand how much money you're going to make, um, you know, how profitable a source is for you and understanding how, um, how much, how much money you're going to bring in, um, to your business and how much is going out. So I hope those tips helped you. I know I talk fast so if you need me to uh, elaborate on anything uh, or anything just let me know in the comment section below i apologize I, i'm southern i talk fast I, I know that that's just how it is i try to slow it down a little bit sometimes but especially when i'm talking about reselling it's something that i'm passionate about um so i kind of ramble a little bit so i apologize for that just just in, in advance <laughs> so anyway if you like these types of videos please like share and subscribe really appreciate it also hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever i release new videos and i will see you guys on the next one peace